Sydney is extremely busy during the cruise season when we have enormous cruise ships coming uh, virtually every day and intermingled with that all of the ferry traffic and all of the recreational traffic that's, that's going on. So it's a busy working harbour. The ovation of the seas is 330 metres long. The berth box inside Circular Quay, it's marginally smaller than the ovation of the seas. So the ovation of the seas is actually uh, parking with nose protruding out in front of that parking spot. We're on a level where metres matter and centimetres matter. People will probably be surprised to learn that we use GPS technology and the old traditional eyeballs in getting the ship safely from the heads all the way through to the berth and then back again in the evening. Well, standalone GPS positioning is giving you 5 to 10 metre level positioning. This is the first time that we've been able to broadcast corrections at the 10 centimetre level to the entire country, in fact, uh, to the entire region, so it's quite new. What SBAS is allowing us to do is have the pilot rely just on the information on the computer screen. And if we can enable instrument navigation, then the pilot no longer needs visibility to be able to steer a ship. And that's going to allow the Port Authority of New South Wales to bring more ships more frequently and in adverse conditions. We were very keen to ensure that, uh, that we were able to be at the forefront of this and be as involved as possible. It's going to do a number of things, from improving safety of port operations around the country, improving the safety of shipping operations in the Australian uh, maritime zones. We're touching all the major transport sectors, so we have intelligent and automated vehicle trials going on on land, uh, we have some rail projects, and of course the aviation sector are very interested in SBAS technology. So in fact we're touching uh, all the major transport modes uh, but we also have projects uh, improving the navigation of pedestrians, particularly those pedestrians with uh, visual impairment. So in fact, we think we're touching all the major ways that people move around the country.